my childhood was so misinformed and I had to recreate that hell in order to sink to the very bottom. No. Be able to go, wow, I know there's light. I know there's something more than this. There's myself. And the more healed I become, the, the more I look at this as right of my life. And it really is the experience that you have as a spiritually evolving individual, a spirit having a, a earth experience, learning about the physicality of the divinity here. So this world we live in, um, you know, the narcissistic personality type really is not identified. And we don't know what they're like. We don't know what the experience of them is. We are, don't have any idea what they are until we actually, like, are recovering from one. And when, you, when you're actually, like, in that place of recovering from a narcissistic relationship, it's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. I went through that. Ah. <sighs> That was life. That was my life with that person. Constant struggle, daily arguments over nothing. And so it's wonderful for me to be comfortable in my own skin, to love who I am, and to recognize behavior that I see is intolerable. And uh, therefore, pull up a chair. We're going to talk about that latest. Uh, Bumble I had on Bumble. Do a little analysis about it because yes, the signs were there right away, but I really liked the guy. I mean, right off the bat, he was talking about sexuality and how he wanted to please me, know what please me and be able to communicate well because his love language was physical touch. I don't want to know what your love language is until I actually feel like I could love you. But I gotta like you first, dude. And I had to remind him physical touch wasn't about sex. That's why the five love languages um, are misappropriated by men. That physical touch one, I've heard that one before. It's like, no, physical touch is when you wanna hold hands, when you rub somebody's back. All of my partners who have, who I have lovingly touched on their body, I can't say I have done that for me. And so my next one has to do that. Well, initially he did that, this guy, and then he didn't. Because when I told him I didn't want him to be sexual with me, he stopped touching me completely. That's messed up. So he had all the trappings of somebody I could go for. And part of my um, trust in the universe is in trusting in the universe. And I call it never looking a gift horse in the mouth. So if there's something that's going to be rotten about this relationship, it's going to reveal itself all on its own. And it did. And what it revealed was that sure enough, this guy really just wanted to have a physical relationship with me. And even though he said, yes, you, you want me to take things slow. You want to get to know me and uh, develop the chakras from here on up because he could speak chakras. But girls, men who are predatorial sexually, sexual predators, you know, they lurk where women are most apt to be in good shape or 
a vulnerable and that's two places a yoga video and then, and then some sort of new age retreat <laughs> um how did how was i vulnerable how did i actually also get to see what he was before i had any um damage done to my heart and was i able to express my truth and all of that was yes 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 so in the end, when he said that shit about, he didn't feel the spark, I go, okay, well, game over. Uh, he came back with a text that was retracting the first one because I didn't answer. But narcissists are not, that's toxic. You don't just get to know a person and then tell them you're not feeling the spark or the, or the chemistry anymore. After it's been established, they really need want to create a camaraderie with you. nothing gained you don't learn anything and I learned a lot I learned a thing or two and I learned that um, a person can have the desire to heal and they could have make the uh, physical overtures of healing but they may never heal there are some people that will always be damaged well <laughs> I recently thought about it and I thought to myself, there are people who have been through difficulties and they end up healing. And then there are people who have been through difficulties and they end up breaking forever. And I'm discovering that no matter what, and no matter how much I may love a person who has gone through difficulties, it's possible that that person may never, ever, ever heal. And it's like, yeah, some people are so damaged they should never be in relationship. So his ex-wife, who who they divorced, who he divorced after 13 years plus nine, he goes 13 good years, nine not good years. And I'm thinking, well, what happened? You know, she's the one that's dying of cancer. Um, was he part of that? I don't know. But uh, I'm off the hook. I'm not um, going to be finding out more about the snarl that he had behind his um, charm. The, the expectations he was going to have of me. So develop your own character and look for the character in others, not just the external appearances and value that and carry yourself with pride about who you are and do your best like to adorn yourself. Celebrate your body. By all means, don't be a sloth. Don't be slovenly. You just don't have to get up in the morning, put on the full makeup and curl your hair in corkscrews cuckoo and look like every other white girl there there i said it <laughs> and only a human being who values themselves could possibly value me